Welcome back to the daily entertainment feed on Fiddler Music, with me as editor Olivia. Today, let's take a look at some breaking entertainment news in the past 24 hours. Thank you for always supporting and accompanying us. Come to the following hot news. Princess Charlotte helps Prince George follow royal protocol during Queen Elizabeth's funeral. Kate Middleton shares Prince Louis is struggling to understand Queen Elizabeth II's death. Prince William and Kate Middleton share final goodbye to Queen Elizabeth after funeral. Why Sandra Oh was in attendance at Queen Elizabeth II's funeral. Princess Charlotte helps Prince George follow royal protocol during Queen Elizabeth's funeral. In the middle of Queen Elizabeth II's funeral, Princess Charlotte appeared to offer her older brother Prince George a lesson about royal protocol. See the helpful moment for yourself. Princess Charlotte has Prince George's back. While attending Queen Elizabeth II's funeral on September 19, Prince William and Kate Middleton's oldest children waited for Her Majesty's coffin to travel past them at Wellington Arch in London. At one point in the waiting period, Charlotte, 7, appeared to remind her 9-year-old brother what to do when the coffin passed by. In a short video, Charlotte told her older brother, you need to bow. As she delivered the friendly reminder, the second in line for the throne listened intently. When the Queen's coffin passed by the royal family, George followed royal protocol, and his sister's advice, by bowing right on time. During the Queen's state funeral at Westminster Abbey, William and Kate's youngest child, Prince Louis, 4, remained at home. In addition to Louis likely not attending because of his young age, Kate revealed just a few days before the service that Louis had trouble understanding the significance of his great-grandmother's death. In particular, the Princess of Wales revealed that Lewis was curious about how the Queen's death would affect their annual family trips to Balmoral Castle in Scotland. In the wake of the monarch's death, William and Kate have been open about how their children are grieving the Queen's death. Last week, the couple spoke to members of the public who were paying their respects to the late monarch at Sandringham Estate. In one Twitter video, the Princess of Wales said her three children are being well looked after before adding, they're in a routine and they're happy. They're with new friends. William echoed his wife's sentiments, stating in another video that, we're trying to keep everything constant and settled for them. On the day of the Queen's passing, all three kids were at their first official day at Lambrook School in Berkshire, England. Keep scrolling to see how Prince George and Princess Charlotte honored the Queen at her funeral. Kate Middleton shares Prince Louis is struggling to understand Queen Elizabeth II's death. With Prince Louis noticeably absent from Queen Elizabeth II's funeral, Kate Middleton explained how her youngest has been struggling to grasp the news of his great-grandmother's death. One of Queen Elizabeth II's great-grandchildren was not in attendance at her funeral. While Prince George, 9, and Princess Charlotte, 7, joined members of the royal family, including their parents Prince William and Kate Middleton, for the Queen's state funeral at Westminster Abbey on September 19, their younger brother, Prince Louis, 4, remained at home. In addition to Louis likely not attending because of his young age, Kate revealed just a few days before the service her and William's youngest child has had trouble understanding the significance of his great-grandmother's death. In particular, the Princess of Wales revealed that Louis has been curious about how the Queen's death would affect their annual family trips to Balmoral Castle in Scotland, telling as such to Australia's Governor-General, David Hurley, at a Commonwealth leaders' reception held at Buckingham Palace on September 17. The younger one is now asking questions like, do you think we can still play these games when we go to Balmoral? And things like that, said Hurley in a video obtained by Daily Mail, because she's not going to be there? As for how Lewis's big brother George, who is second in line to the throne, is coping. According to Hurley, the young royal is now realizing how important his great-grandmother was and what is going on. William and Kate have been open about how their children are grieving the Queen's death, and shared updates on their well-being with members of the public paying their respects to the late monarch at Sandringham Estate on September 15. They're in school, being well looked after, Kate can be seen saying in a Twitter video. They're in a routine and they're happy. They're with new friends. William mirrored his wife's words, stating in another video that his kids were, settling in, adding, we're trying to keep everything constant and settled for them. While Lewis may not fully grasp the importance of the Queen's death, he does know how to comfort his family. Kate previously shared, Lewis said at least Granny is with Great Grandpa now. Her Majesty will be laid to rest at St. George's Chapel at Windsor Castle following her funeral on September 19, the same resting place as her husband, Prince Philip, 
sister Princess Margaret and parents, King George VI and Queen Elizabeth the Queen Mother. Prince William and Kate Middleton share final goodbye to Queen Elizabeth after funeral. Prince William and Kate Middleton shared a last goodbye to Queen Elizabeth II after her September 19 funeral at Westminster Abbey. Read their message. Prince William and Kate Middleton have given their final farewell to Queen Elizabeth II. The Prince and Princess of Wales honored the late monarch by sharing a photo of her coffin being carried at Windsor Castle to their official Instagram page on September 19. They paired the image with a message that read, Goodbye to a queen, a mother, a grandmother and a great-grandmother. After Her Majesty's death on September 8, Queen Elizabeth was laid to rest on September 19 inside Windsor Castle at St. George's Chapel. Prior to her burial, Queen Elizabeth's funeral was preceded with a state funeral service held at Westminster Abbey in London. Those in attendance included William, Kate, King Charles III, Queen Consort Camilla, Princess Anne, Prince Andrew, Prince Edward, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, who were all seated in a traditional fashion that organized them in order of precedence at the service. The King and Queen Consort Camilla were seated in the front row of the South Lantern section. Meanwhile, William, who is next line to become King, and Kate were seated in the front row of the opposing side of the aisle. With William's new status as the heir apparent, the 40-year-old will have an increase in his responsibilities, royal expert Jonathan Sacerdoti exclusively told us. However, Jonathan noted that as the Queen suffered health issues during her final months, members of the royal family, including William, gained more experience by taking on tasks in her place. I think that that has probably prepared him for this new role as Prince of Wales, but there will probably be a stepping up even there, Jonathan said. I think it's a part of growing up and growing into the role and knowing that his duty is going to increase and his service is likely to increase, and there's no reason to think he won't carry that all out excellently. Why Sandra Oh was in attendance at Queen Elizabeth II's funeral Sandra Oh was among the guests at Queen Elizabeth II's funeral on September 19, joining members of the royal family and several heads of state. Here's her connection to the royals. Sandra Oh paid respects to Queen Elizabeth II at her state funeral. Viewers tuning into the late monarch's televised service on September 19 were likely surprised to see the Grey's Anatomy alum among the 2,000 mourners at Westminster Abbey alongside foreign leaders and members of the royal family. However, O was at the service in an official capacity as a member of the Canadian delegation. The Killing Eve alum, who was appointed as an officer of the Order of Canada in June, walked alongside performing artist Gregory Charles and Olympic gold medal winning swimmer Mark Tewksbury. For the occasion, O, 51, donned a black dress, a black hat, and a badge representing Canada. The trio were joined by Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, who was one of several heads of state in attendance. The Governor-General of Canada's website, noted that the honour was bestowed upon the actress, for her artistic career filled with memorable stage, television and film roles in Canada and abroad. As one of the United Kingdom's Commonwealth realms, Queen Elizabeth was monarch of the nation. Two days after her passing on September 8, King Charles III was officially proclaimed Canada's monarch in a ceremony in Ottawa on September 10. During Queen's September 19 funeral, King Charles was accompanied by most of the royal family, including Princess Anne, Prince Andrew, Prince Edward, Prince William, Prince Harry, Kate Middleton, and Meghan Markle. William and Kate's oldest two children, Prince George, 9, and Princess Charlotte, 7, were also in attendance to pay tribute to their great-grandmother. Following the service, the Queen was buried in a private ceremony at St. George's Chapel in Windsor. And those are also the most outstanding news that closes the today morning thank you to everyone for listening and following Fiddler Music Daily News. If you find the video interesting and useful, please click like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of the latest entertainment as well as celebrity